All right, everybody. So today we have Chitty Okfor from the University of Connecticut School of Dental Medicine. Chitty, how are you doing today? I'm doing very, very well. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the, to the interview. Uh, if you can, please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So where you're from, where you went to undergrad, uh, what you major in, and did you take a year off? Okay, so my dental journey is uh, different. My first dental visit was at 16, and basically my first year of college, I decided I wanted to be my dentist. Um, I went to Mount St. Mary's University, and that's in Maryland. Um, and since then, every summer, I spent like an enrichment program at UConn, hence me going to UConn. <laughs> uh, so every summer, um, I spent a uh, enrichment program there. And yeah, and then I ended up in UConn Dental. Awesome, awesome. And so what was your major in uh, undergrad? You said, was it bio? Oh yeah, I did regular, regular biology. Okay, okay, okay. And so you, you talk about the summer enrichment program at UConn. Um, so you can do it multiple years or like, how does that work? Yeah, so the first, I took my DAT actually my sophomore year summer. Okay. And the first enrichment program that I did, I literally searched on Google like dental programs and that came up. Um, I thought it was just gonna be about like learning about DAT, but it turned out to be like 16 hours a day of studying for the exam. Um, <laughs> and then since then, um, I did a research program right after that, my junior year summer. And then my senior year summer, I did like a pre-dental summer kind of a thing. So like learn a little bit of the classes before I start um, dental school. Okay, okay. And so, hold on. So you said that the, the UConn uh, pre-dental, I guess, summer program, you all were studying for your DAT in that program. Yes. Okay. So in my sophomore year summer, I was studying for DATs called uh, D8. There's a DAT and an MCAT prep for that. Uh, so okay. I was with a bunch of medical students and dental students, and we're all basically just studying for um, DAT and MCAT. and MCAT. And so, okay, so a lot of people, a lot of students, you know, they always ask us like, what is our number one tip with regards to doing well on the DAT? And so what's, what's a piece of advice that you would give them? Uh, definitely for me, um, if you can give up a summer and find a program that would like support you. So when I did that DAT program, I was paid a stipend. I was, um, housing was free. Um, I, also we're giving the Kaplan course program. And while I was there, um, I was being tutored by, tutored by um, dental school, dental students in that school. So it's just also being around people who are on the same level as you. Yeah. You know, everybody's studying for 16 hours, so you don't have to worry about looking at the left or right, like, oh, they're partying or they're doing this, because we're all studying together. So I felt like if you have a summer to give up, um, and I don't want to say give up, give up sounds so negative. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you have a summer, <laughs> if you have a summer um, available to you, definitely use that and also build connections while you're there. I knew the, um, the dean of admissions before I came to my interview and she was like, oh, hey, Chitty. I was like, oh, hey, sis, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a thing when I got to my interview. So she already knew me. Um, that definitely was a good uh, put in the door. That's huge. Okay, and so uh, you talked about your interview. Can you kind of like walk us through what your interview uh, was like at UConn? Um, so basically, we talked about the, like we have the one meeting. Oh, you're taking me all the way back. You're yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might be the last okay. time you think about this. We had like the meeting. <laughs> we had a meeting with the dean of admissions like i said she knew me before i came in 
and all of the other applicants was uh, looking at me like, how does she, <laughs> you know? Right, right. Um, but she tells us about the school, tells us about the program. Um, we go on a tour around the school, around the clinic, and then we had time to talk with dental students um, and their take on the school. And after that, we had two different um, interviewees, two different sessions with that. Um, and then that was the end of the day. So how long was it, would you say? Was it like... It was a to- whole day. Whole day. Okay. So I had to sit through everybody one by one going in. So it was a long day for me. I remember that. I remember that. Okay, okay. Like so, a nine to five for real? Sheesh. That is a long interview. Okay, so so uh I knew that like you kind of preemptively wanted to go to UConn because you had done these summer programs. Uh did you interview at any other schools or was it just UConn and you were like Yeah, so I applied to five schools. I did four secondaries and I got three interviews. Um, I didn't go to one, I think it was Temple. Um, I got Temple interview, I didn't go to that because I remember people telling me it was like you in front of a camera and that's it. Oh, I was man. like, oh, I don't need this kind of energy in my life. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah no, I did that in Maryland. Okay. Um, so I got accepted to both Connecticut and Maryland, and it was it was a hard decision because I'm from Maryland. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Connecticut gonna, gave I, me money. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you. I was like, why? You know, what was that that final factor that made you decide to go to UConn? You know, versus your state your state school. So it was the scholarship money. I wouldn't just say it was just the scholarship money, but it was a very big, I'm not even going to money talks. You know what I mean? Money talks. (laughs) But it was a big factor. Um, Like I said, I'm from Maryland. Um, They were both really good schools with both um, great credentials. Um, I think the big thing for me about Connecticut was um, it's a small class. So we have like less than 50. Um, the first two years, first year and a half, we're taking BMS with medical students. So it's like we have a really good um, medical and science background. Mm-hmm. Um, so that really helped. Um, I will say this hindsight now as a fourth year, but not what I knew coming in, was that Connecticut's um, network <laughs> in the dental world is very extensive Mm -hmm. very very extensive and it's honestly truly um been a big advantage to me as a fourth year right now you know going into residency applying into residency i there are some interviews that i got for um ortho strictly because let me not say that on camera but (laughs) no i mean honestly you know, being, being, it's, it's, being yeah. real, being it's 100% it's because, because of the UConn name, you yeah. know, because of the UConn Connect, UConn alumni, um, it's really helped now as a fourth year. Okay, okay. And so you, you kind of quickly mentioned your first year, um, speaking on how you all took the uh, didactic classes with the medical school students. So what, can you kind of also walk us through like what else your first year was like? Um, and kind of what a pre-dent could kind of look forward to with regards to their D1 year at UConn. I mean, like, are you all exposed to any clinic? Uh, Do you all pick up a drill? Like, those type of things. So, um, my class, we are pigs for the new curriculum that Mm -hmm. they started at uh, Connecticut. So, basically, we are the flipped classroom completely. in with BMS, our BMS was with the medical students and basically the medical school changed their curriculum. So because they changed, we had to change as well. Mm -hmm. Um, And basically it's like two hours a day in class and you get like a bunch of reading materials, videos, whatever it is you need to study about. For example, we're studying about diabetes. You learn about the science behind diabetes and then you're passing you're like you have a 54 year old female coming in 
with this and this and this. What medication do you think she will need? So it was kind of like very case-based that we learned in class, but we had a lot of independent study time. Um, because we were also really connected with the medical school, we did a lot of like um, patient instructor learning. So like we learned to give the full body physical, um, blood pressure readings, all those kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so really not much of a clinical experience because you are delved in deep into science your first year and a half. But I think they are trying to, um, so before my class, it was two years of BMS. With my class, it's a year and a half. Mm. So now with that six months, they're trying to get us into clinic quicker. Okay. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so I'm asking everybody this question about their school, but what is something that, I mean, and granted, I know you, you network a lot, you know, you know, you know a lot of different dental students. What's something that you find to be specifically unique about UConn, you know, that no other dental school might have? Um, I would say that I felt like the flipped classroom is very unique to us because it's like, honestly, a hundred percent, a year and a half, you are in taking BMS with your medical students. Yeah. Um, so that's very unique. So we are very science heavy. Um, and I also, I will also will say this, that a lot of our, I would say maybe a little bit under than half of my class specialized, mm -hmm. uh, some very big uh, specialty schools. Mm -hmm. I think also kind of a thing about it because we get into a clinic a little later and our requirements is not as much as other schools. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of us definitely either do a residency in GPR or AGD or specialize. Mm -hmm. So if you want to specialize, I think UConn is a really good school for that. Mm, okay, okay, awesome, awesome. And so last question of the interview, if you were to go back in time and talk to yourself while you were applying uh, and going through the entire application process, what's, what's one piece of advice that you would give to yourself? Um, I think I would, I said this earlier, I only applied to five schools. Um, I don't know if, if, if I was being lazy, but I was, I was still, this was my last year in college. Mm -hmm. So the senioritis was most definitely still real. Um, <laughs> I don't call it being lazy, but <laughs> I do feel like um, I wished I had spread um, my wings is that the phrase yeah, that it yeah, goes yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> I wish I wish I applied to more schools because honestly um you learn more about a program a school when you get to the interview yeah. um, I wish I had done more interviews so I had learned more about other programs um I did my Maryland and Connecticut and I did Connecticut because that's what I knew Maryland that's what I know um I kind of wish I just has spread it a little further. So I learned more about other schools and how they did their thing. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. You know, we really do appreciate your time. If, um, if any of our viewers have any questions, is there any way that they can reach out to you and ask you those questions? Yes, yes, yes. I'm on IG. Um, my Instagram name is Madam Chitty. Um, M A D A M C H I D D I. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty like open person, pretty um, outgoing. So whatever it is, I'll give you the real. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you so much once again from the Future DDS family. We definitely do appreciate it. Of course, I'm so glad you guys are doing this. I'm sure a lot of people will learn about you know, firsthand about a lot of schools from this. Yeah, no, right. That's what we hope for, you know, anything that we can do to help, we're, we'll try to do. But anyway, exactly. everybody, um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Um, and if you have any questions for Terrell and I, you can reach us on Instagram at underscore future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. 
But until next time, see y'all later.